Greg Metzger and Toby Curtis began studying great whites in these waters nine years ago. And they've now confirmed that this is the nursery ground for the great white in the North Atlantic. Hey, there they are. This year, they are joined right. by great white experts, Megan Winton and Greg Skolman, for a pioneering new study. I'm gonna keep cranking north, good luck. Thank you, you too. While Greg heads up the coast to investigate the northern limit of the nursery, Megan joins the tag team. They're hoping to deploy a special new camera tag on a baby great white in the Atlantic for the first time. So we know virtually nothing about baby white sharks. We know that they're abandoned at birth when they're only about four feet long. They haven't ever hunted before. They haven't navigated these waters before. How do they do it? How do they survive? How do they escape other predators that are out there? Now with this special miniature baby camera tag, we're gonna be able to track them and film them in the nursery area for the first time. It's really uncharted territory as far as white shark science goes. If they succeed, they could finally reveal the mysteries of the first most vulnerable weeks in the life of a baby great white. It's only recently that it's been possible to study the nursery. A few decades ago, trophy hunting and commercial fishing almost wiped out the great white along this coast. But with stricter fishing regulations and protection for the great white, marine life is slowly coming back. Look, they're big schools of bunker fish. Right there, look, they're spinners. It's the spinner sharks. That's incredible. Great place for a white shark nursery right here off the state of New York. 